Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Pros and Politics Podcast, where we are polished and poised for greatness and impact. My name is Kahala, and I'm your host. Well, as you all know, we have been going through the many wonderful organizations of the Divine Nine for the last two seasons. And today we are finishing the sorority side of things with the pretty poodles of Sigma Gamma Rho. And we have none other than the president of the East St. Louis alumni chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho, Ms. President Hardin. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, I'm so excited to have you here. So you you rounding it out. Yes. The pretty poodles are, are rounding it out. And we are so happy to have you. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So do I you. I love your approach. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, first, introduce yourself. I am Katina Hardin, um, president of the Alpha Upsilon Sigma, alumni chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated in the city of East St. Louis, Illinois. Um, my career is I work for the state of Missouri um, Department of Mental Health, where I have worked for 22 years. Um, I've actually done social work for 27 years, and I'm a mother of one. Okay, so you have a lot going on. Yes. And it's all really, really good things. We love mental health and mental health awareness here yes. at Pros and Politics Podcast yes. because life be life in. Yes. Yes. And um, as a community of people of color, we oftentimes have historically not taken care of our mental health or health or was taboo or, well, we don't do that or we yes. don't go to therapy. And so we are trying to break all those barriers absolutely, here. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have to let people know that it's okay to take care of you. And it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. Yes. It's okay. Because once you acknowledge that you're not okay, we can help you. Okay. Okay. So now with all of that, d does that, are you incorporating any of that into what you are doing with your chapter? Absolutely. Um, Sigma Gamma Rho, we have women's wellness and that goes with your physical health as well as your mental health. So what we do is um, with Alpha Upsilon Sigma, I have a self-care and health, health and wellness committee where we do things like um, things of when we just did breast cancer awareness, um, where we had um, an oncologist come on who was actually my oncologist. I'm a breast cancer survivor. So we had um, my yeah. oncologist to come on for our women's wellness to just talk to um, sororers, philos, even our rurers and our undergraduates, along with the community, to talk about the importance of black women taking care of themselves and early detection and things like that. That is amazing. And we praise God yes. that you are a cancer survivor, Yes, that yes. you warred against it, and that you were victorious in that battle. So we are thankful for that. Thank you. Um, and so you are... Obviously, as the president, you were able to implement those that type of programming. Yes. So tell us about your journey to Sigma Gamma Rho. We start with the introduction because obviously we didn't come out Greek, right? Absolutely. We, it, it was we were who we were. Yes. Before that, and so tell us though about your journey to Sigma Gamma Rho. Wow, my journey is um, being in class with a lot of ladies of Sigma Gamma Rho um, at Lane College, the Alpha Gamma chapter. Um, I noticed that those ladies always sat at the front of the class. And, you know, we used to be told it's better to be seen and not heard. Um, these ladies were seen. They were not always on the party scene. But when they spoke, they always spoke of substance. And they just commanded the attention that made everybody want to listen. And so while these were not the ladies that I would hang out with, it made me aspire to want to be like that. And, you know, as women, when it's when we it's hard for black women to acknowledge another black woman, especially in the 90s, like, oh, but they immediately just caught my attention with just their presence. And when they spoke. Well, I will say this and I, you know, I am I don't have a hating bone in my body. So I love black women. I love all the divine nine. Yes. So I'm going to say what I see it. I went to the University of Illinois mm -hmm. at Urbana-Champaign. Oh, wow. Um, 95 to 2000. And, you know, I come from a family of Alpha Kappa Alpha women. So yes. it was never any other option, but they were not on the yard. And for the greater part of that time that I was there, and the Sigma Gamma Rose were. And I'm not going to tell you no lies. They ran the yard. Like... The Sigma Gamma Rose, 95 to 2000 at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I mean, they had the best strolls. I mean, they were the sweetest people. Like, but I still remember their faces and a lot of who they were to this day. Yes. 
because, you know, the Zaders were on the yard and the Deltas may or may not have been, but the SUOs, they were on the yard and maybe they ran it. Yeah. They ran it. So I can totally see why you would say during your time as an undergraduate, seeing them, if they were anything like the women of whatever chapter that is in at the University of Illinois, then yes. I can totally see why you would gravitate and be inspired by them. Yes, I was very inspired. Yes. Well, good. So with the East St. Louis chapter, what are you all up to? So what is your prominent programming and what do you want us to know? Our prominent programming, it aligns with our national programs which mm-hmm. is Annual Youth Symposium, okay. um, Operation Big Book Bag, of course, Women's Wellness, um, Project Cradle Care for our infancies, okay. for our infants with disabilities. Um, and we have, um, I think I named all five of them, yes. Okay, so tell us more about, because of course, a lot of us do book bags and a lot of us do clothing for girls and just a lot of other things. But I haven't really heard a lot about a program that deals with the with the babies. Yes, that, that aligns with our national program, Project Reassurance. But I do want to take a moment, Kahala, to acknowledge that. I don't know if you ever remember Dr. Lorana J. Morris. Okay. Um, she was an administrator in District 189, but she was also our 19th International Grand Basilisk. And she implemented Operation Big Book Bag as well as Annual Youth Symposium that she began in her administration in 1996. That is still going on 27 years later. Um, next year, we we're walking into our 28th year um, that Dr. Morris um, implemented those programs into our international sorority. Um, we wear that with pride because while Absolutely. we while we are of Sigma Gamma Rho, she is an East St. Louis native, mm-hmm. and that is in the books that she is from East St. Louis, Illinois. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we wear those programs with pride, along with the other programs. But yes, our um, March mm-hmm. for Babies is with um, we do that in January. We're going to actually do that um, this coming, coming January. Up soon. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, what we do is we get the youth, um, our young um, adolescent teenage mothers, as well as our young mothers, and we we wrap them in our arms and um, we we give them gifts. Um, it's like a small baby shower, but we also inform them about their pregnancy stages, what they need to do to take care of themselves before and after pregnancy. Um, last year, we brought in the University of Illinois Food and Nutrition Department um, to talk with them on how to care for themselves. That is outstanding because, again, we as a community yes, and as women of color, we oftentimes struggle, especially in health care, yes. in addition to the mental health that we just discussed. And prenatal care is absolutely an issue. Yes. And um, the maternal mortality rate absolutely. is an issue for us. So absolutely. anytime that I hear about programming that encourages Black women to Go to the, go to the doctor to take care of their children Absolutely. to give them the knowledge and information that they need to be healthy yes. for themselves and their families. Like that always strikes a chord with me. Yes, it always yes. strikes a chord with me. So you all are a chapter of how many? At this time, we are a chapter of like eighty six right now. Wow. Yes, that is tremendous. And so, as a result of having such a large chapter, then you all are obviously able to do a great deal of programming yes. and outreach into, into the, the East St. Louis community. Is there anything else that you want us to know that you have coming up? We actually going to have our Tierra Cotillion that we have okay. every year. And that is where we take our young high school, young ladies, mm-hmm. and we introduce them to society. And this is such a grand affair <laughs> for not only our sorority, but the young ladies and their families, mm-hmm. as well as the escorts. Mm-hmm. You know, we tell them this is your moment in time. You know, we want them to have mm-hmm. a memorable moment when they go off to college that you participated in the cotillion and you had your escort, you had your beautiful gown, mm-hmm. you went to your um your women's workshop, you know, charm clinics and things like that. So we are very excited about our cotillion and that's going to be actually next month on um, December the 30th. That is awesome. I remember being in Fashionetta growing up and I remember it was a huge deal. Like you looked forward your whole high school career yes. to that junior or senior year. And I know a lot of young ladies do it in their junior year, but when I was 90, what, 94, 95, you did it your senior year. You were a senior pearl and you did it your senior year. And that you got your dress and your escort and your dad danced with you and your mom and dad yes. walked you down the aisle. Like that was huge. Yes. So I, I look forward to seeing all the pictures and, you know, anything yes. that I can do, you know, whether it's an ad or whatever that is going on with that. I would awesome. love to do. Awesome. I would love to do. Wonderful. Wonderful. I would Thank love you to so do. much. 
So we've got the cotillion. So 2024 is breathing down our necks. Yes. And guess what? Our Central Region Conference is going to be here in St. Louis. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. That's a huge deal. It is a very huge deal. And I know you're busy. Very busy. Because yes, it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> because it it's tom tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Yes. So tell us about that. Um, well, what we're going to actually do, um, we're going to have our public meeting. Um, it's going to be from the set March 7th through the 10th. Okay. The public meeting will be, I want to say, March the 9th. Mm -hmm. um, and that is where we will have the opportunity to not only have St. Louis MPHC, we're going to have East St. Louis MPHC. You know, we want to make sure East St. Louis is at Represent the table. Represent it. That's right. Absolutely. And that's where we talk Kahala, where sometimes our Greek letters are bigger than us. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the responsibility of representing our city. So this is going to be a keen opportunity to, to ref, you know, represent the city of champions, you know. Mm -hmm. And I want Sigma Gamma Rho to see, we understand there's the show me state, but there's also the city of champions. That's right. That's right. It Being from East St. Louis, it's it's a, a love and, you know, it's a pleasure and it's an honor yes, to represent, it's honor. but it's also an obligation. Very much so. I don't care what anybody says, you know, it's also an obligation because, again, there's the perception yes. that we grew up with. There's the perception that is still there, even though we are just doing things that folks yes. are like, oh, I guess it's not what it used to. It was never what you thought it was. Let's be clear. It was never what you thought it was. But it is an obligation that we have to yes. say. We are excellent. We are the city of champions. Right. Here we are. Like, we know that, you know, you got all the wonderfulness that goes on in St. Louis and other parts of the country, but we are equally excellent. Right. And so that is awesome that it's coming to this area and yes. that you all have a seat at the table. That's right. We have the keen opportunity to represent our city with such class and grace. Absolutely. Well, I ask everyone. At the end, you know, getting close to the end of the episode, because we all feel that obviously our organization is the best and that there's no other way. Yes. So I always ask everyone, whether it's the frets or whether it's the sorors, you have a young lady that may or may not have been in your cotillion that is at the university of wherever and she has all these options. She may not be a legacy. And so she's thinking, and so why Sigma Gamma Rho? The first thing I would do is tell her my story and what made me interested in Sigma Gamma Rho. Mm -hmm. And I tried to be very genuine about who I was before I became a member. Um, I was the, the young lady who was kind of loud, who was always in the crowd. But these women who I saw, mm -hmm. you know, not approach me. I just saw them. And the way they carried themselves and when they spoke and how they commanded the attention. And it made me to aspire to be better. It gave me a goal, mm -hmm. you know, where I wanted to go in life because I did, where I was, I didn't see that in my vision mm -hmm. until I saw them. But I would definitely tell That's the beautiful. young lady to, if they're having events, go to the events, mm -hmm. you know, go learn, go, go see what's going on. Not just the stepping, not just the strolling, uh -huh. but the service events. You know, mm -hmm. what are they doing to impact? Ask questions. Mm -hmm. I think we don't do enough of that. Ask mm -hmm. questions. You know, um, I would definitely tell them because I'm very confident in Sigma Gamma Rho. I had someone tell me the same thing. Ask questions because she was confident that I would come back. Mm -hmm. And I took note of her confidence as well. Mm -hmm. So I would just tell them, ask questions, go to the events and definitely would share my story. It's a sisterhood for me. Absolutely. I have a brother and I love him to life. He's the most amazing brother in the history of brothers, but I don't have sisters. Mm -hmm. So when I was able to go through the membership intake process and acquire over 20 sisters, mm -hmm. and when I tell you um, we are there for each other, yes, thick, thin, up, down, left, right, um, we support each other. No matter what is going on now, we're going to tell you when you're wrong. Yes. But we're going to tell you in love and we're going to tell you after the fact, because if we got to address this first, whatever's coming against you, Absolutely. we're 27 together and we're going to address it. So for me, of course, like you said, ask questions and it's the service and it's the, the but it's the scholarship. But for me, in addition to all those things. Mm -hmm. It was the sisterhood. And when I tell you, you are wearing that pretty poodle, honey. Oh, you are you. wearing thank it. You. And thank I you. absolutely 
love it. And I'm so excited about everything that your chapter is doing. I'm so excited for your regional conference that's coming up. And I just can't wait. I just want to sit and watch and look at all the pitches and, and you know. Oh, you're invited. Oh, okay. Absolutely. We. This is the city of champions. You're invited. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep that in mind. I will be there. Okay. Yes, we will be in touch and I will be there. Absolutely. So Absolutely. thank you. Thank you. So we, we had a, a conversation. We're not going to release what the conversation was yet. But she'll be back. I only had to ask. She coming back and it's going to be some stuff that y'all ain't seen. So Absolutely. So, yes. Well, thank you so much for your time today. And um, girl, if if anybody ever thought about being an SG role, if they saw this episode, baby, they are there. Okay. Oh, they are so all much. in with you. Thank you so much. They are all in with you. So, thank you so much for being with us today. And thank you for having me. Thank you. Of course. Of course. And thank you for tuning in today to Pearls and Politics Podcast, where we are polished and poised for greatness and impact. Thank you for joining us today. And we hope you'll join us again next week. And in the meantime, please like, love, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye.